there are times where he has fun. I feel like he has fun when he's hitting his opponent with Bazooka. Yeah. <laughs> he, 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 like, in Smash 4, when he gets the up air juggles, yeah. he just imagines the, the, the circus music playing. He just imagines like that just playing. I in his would head. imagine that, but that would probably upset me. So, yeah, again, when he's juggling people, I can guarantee you that's what Taternator is thinking in his mind right now. That just that, that circus music. The pressing the funny button, as he likes to call it. I believe it. Yeah. But here we go. DK versus Bowser Jr. Okay, there's those. Start the clown card music. Okay. Tanner is already going for those up airs. Oh, okay, yep. there we go. He can start the music all he wants, but it doesn't matter until the music stops when DK's dead. Well, we've already seen what YMC is capable of, especially on this stage. Oh, you know he wanted that there right there just to get one. Okay, but I like that charging the smash to avoid the spot dodge. Ooh, is that gonna be it? No. No, Dawson Jr. is heavy. Damn, thankfully he's that clown part. Gonna add a little bit of more weight. Ooh, no, just shield poking right there and getting the fair off stage, just ending that stock. Oh, not getting the second hit of the down. Yeah, even getting grabbed right out of the side beat. Clown car approach into an up air. 150%, but ooh, big forward air, and that's gonna send Tatonator straight down. Here we go on the second stock, you know. I like that. Kind of baiting out the, I'm going to throw this at you. Psych, and then just grabs him instead. Oh my god, almost going for it again. Almost going for it a third time. Oh, that, that would probably kill, too. Tatonator's at mid percent. YMCA has a good amount of rage. And just swinging out of the way, right out of grab range. Yeah. One thing that's... Probably not going to work out in Tatanay's favor is like he's not going to be able to rely on the Mega Koopa making an approach back uh, just because the stage is so wide. All right. Oh, the Mega Koopa exploding right there. You know, I like what he. Oh my God! All that shield damage and you know that aerial approach. BK not a whole lot of good landing options, so that's going to be scooped up by the upkeep. And uh, I don't know if that that bomb exploding was. Good or bad for Tatum there? Like, it was damage for DK, but it was only 8%. True, true, but 150% on Tatonator. Wow. Great That's spin out from the side beat. You know, it made it very difficult to tell which way the, uh, the Tater was going to land. Right. And you, you saw YMCA looking for the other cross up, but not going to be able to find any. Gets punished for it instead. Landing uh, with the Nair, but getting sent outside of the Mecha, the, the DK spin. I like that, using the up air to you know, punish the jump from the mega car. I like that. Oh, wait, I think jab. that kills. Yeah. <laughs> yep, it kills. I was like, okay, he's getting rapid jab at the ledge. He might get something else after this, but what's the answer? Oh, wait, this just kills. It Never just mind. Kills, yeah. <laughs> you know what's really stupid is that you can just hold rapid jab at the ledge, and if they normal get up, like, it. It like combos, so like you, yeah. it just beats out ledge. You, you just get beat up yeah. at the ledge. <laughs> so like you either have to roll past it. Like I think if, if you can space it right, you can have to catch jump too. Well, you can just normal. You can just break up attack. You you, you can't get just, up attack it, but like it's one of those things where like if you see the the pressure from the the, the bomb like, like yeah coming down, like you don't really want to get up attack. Yeah yeah no I get you I get you. So it's one of those things that like a lot of people that like if you don't have Bowser Jr. experience, like just know that like you never want to get up against like, this character. Okay, a couple of back airs into an F tilt. You put decent damage on the Taternator. We're seeing a much more back and forth fight between the two players in, in here in game two. Now this is uh we did just watch a bunch of games, best of fives. But I would like to remind the audience that this is quarterfinals. So this so is best of three. Best of three. Taternator, um, you know, if two O's, YMCA. Oh, wow, that big punch. No, uh, that bomb exploding not going to save Taternator in the least. Oh, you know, I like what Taternator was trying to go for there. He was trying to get the two frame on the forward smash. Even 
dropping down, but interrupting the hammer with a uh, some very offensive tools from YMCA. Oh, you know YMCA is looking for that edge guard, but it's another one. Punch. Oh my Yo, god! Yo, put the punch meter, put the punch counter back up on the scoreboard. Two for two bound, but like, oh my god. Tate and Air is showing that, like, okay, you got heavy hits, I got heavy hits too. Let me show you this wand. Oh, it is a wand, huh? Yeah, yeah it's he a has wand. a wand. Yeah. All the Koopa Links have wands except for Bowser Jr. and Bowser Jr. have a hammer. Of course. Okay, over there. Now, Ooh. even setting up great trap at the ledge. If YMCA had opted to go low, he would have had to deal with the exploding count bound card. But instead, he went high and had to deal with the that big wand instead. Go. There's the back air and then the forward air. You know, YMCA is just stuffing out all this Pokemon. And even if he parries, he can just not punish it. Just because of that. But ding dong, ding dong. Oh my god. I don't know why people take YMCA to the stage. Uh, why, why do you allow him to go here? Well, you allow him to do this to you. Honestly, I think aside from maybe Smashville, I think uh, Stadium is DK's best stage. You think Townsville? Not town, just because like it's harder to get the ding dong combos on town. Yeah. And like even if you do get him, like it's a higher ceiling. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But like Smash though, just because like the platform's like always Smash in the center. Smash Smash Okay. Yeah. No, I I just think that Pokemon Stadium is like the number one DK stage. Oh yeah. Like I would never, never take DKs here. You know where I would take DK? Kalos, and I hate that stage. I would, I would take them to Carlos every single time. But hey, I think he heard me. Yeah. <laughs> I would take DK to Carlos. I would take DK if you have, if you have good juggling tools. I would take DK to Battlefield. Battlefield, Battlefield over FD. I mean, if he, I play have Max, good juggling so, tools, like, oh, he's okay, never yeah, gonna take you, me to FD. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. He's probably never gonna take me to town either. So, like, I, I would take, I would take Carlos. I would take Battlefield. Probably not Smash though. So, yeah. Okay, well, here we have game three. Tournament life on the line for both these players. Oh, and here's a good 30%, or not 30%, but like, closer like 18. Oh, grabs the Mecha Koopa and combos off of it, too. That's right. Put that Mecha Koopa right back in Tater's face. A little bit of your own medicine. But Mega Kuba unfortunately not coming out in time, but there it comes out, and no, Tatanator well, capitalizing on that combo really well. And that's really, really level for Tatanator. Just great positioning for Tatanator because that Mega Koopa or that forward air from YMCA would have been easily converted off of. I like Tatanator going low, avoiding the back air, because you know, like, he just needs one back air off stage, and that's the enemy death. Now an F tilt connects. And Taternator has not landed on the stage for quite some time, but an early up smash or down smash from YMCA will allow Taternator to make it back to the stage. And here's the edge guard, and there's the bear. Yes, that will be Taternator taking that stock, and YMCA answering right back immediately. That's right, don't push buttons. Can't be pushing buttons. And here's the juggling, and DK, I don't think he has a jump. That's right, put the clown music back on. Tempo. Oh my god. And gets the normal or gets the roll get up from Ledge and gets the up B2 not gonna be enough. But no, he, uh YMCA had to use his uh his air dodge. That was easy, easy punish from Taternator. Now YMCA is still stuck on the right side of the stage. Oh expecting a roll, but YMCA mixing up his recovery option very smart. You know, 160%, I mean, you would think that, like, oh, yeah, DK's in a bad position, except DK's not really at kill percent. Not really. Not with the positioning that uh, YMCA keeps taking, and uh, the position that Taternator keeps landing hits. Rapid jab at the ledge. Don't get hit by the last one. Oh, it's shield poked. Yet again, 65% on Taternator, you know, like YMCA. He can do this, but he needs to clean up the stock before he gets another juggle like that. Good parries, and as long as you make use of that shield, you make sure that you uh, position it correctly, you're not going to get shield poked. 
Okay. Oh, gets the forward tip off stage. Doesn't have a double jump. But oh. gets forward smash because he couldn't grab Legend time. That's right. He was still on the vertical rise, not able to land uh, or latch onto the ledge. You know what? Like, I know we were playing the crown music earlier, but I wonder who's the crown music playing for right now. I mean, both these players just keep going back and forth. This game is essentially even. Yeah. Oh, he gets the back air off stage. Okay, and great no, air dodge. Yeah, unfortunately, drop shield just a little bit. Before, oh, oh no, he wanted that there, but oh my god, both players are just swinging for the moon. <laughs> swinging like there's no tomorrow. They both know what's on the line. Yeah. And you know both players are just looking for their one hit, their one kill confirm. And oh my god. Wow, this the earthquake hit. hitbox yeah. saved Taternator. Oh my god. That's, okay. Oh, he combos off of it too, and that will be game. If if the Mecha Koopa didn't poke, I'm almost positive that would have broke the shield. I'm positive too. Or at least if it if the Mecha Koopa didn't uh, poke and explode the shield, Tanner would have thrown out a forward tilt and broken the shield himself.